Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how things are disappearing. Not super noticeable yet, but they are. And I'll give you an example, <coughs> my own example, that I've experienced yesterday. My phone, the, the one I use, the one I'm filming this video with, uh, it's a crappy phone, it's an LG. It's probably okay for some regular user, but I heavy use my phone, very heavy. And between all these videos I make and my job, my GPS is constantly on, my all the apps are working. I use my whole phone really heavy. Anyway, needless to say, I need a new one. And I've had this thing for three years. So it's coming to an end of its cycle. So uh, we went, my wife and I, to look for a new phone for myself yesterday. And I saw the new iPhone 12. And I was thinking, I'm not a big fan of Apple, but I supposedly it's the best phone with least problems and how they function and everything. Everybody says so. I'm more of an Android fan. But I was thinking this. <clears throat> From my past experience, I would go to the phone store and uh, there would be an iPhone, for example, new model. And the previous model would sell for 50% off. There was a time, a couple of years ago, I remember, you could buy an iPhone previous model for Paying is on a dollar. I don't remember exact price, but it was so cheap. It was like 50 bucks or something like that. Some ridiculous number. Anyway, um, so I asked them, what about iPhone 11? How much is it? Oh, that one is 100 bucks cheaper. I was like, what? Outgoing model, only $100 cheaper? And they had, they had no deals. Usually they have other deals. I want to buy an iPad, some sort of, no, sorry, not iPad. I want to buy a, a tablet. I, I call them iPads, but I just want to buy a regular tablet for my son <clears throat> to use. And in the past, I've purchased before tablets for $1. As long as you get that iPad, uh, I mean, that uh, tablet, and you hook up line to it, for two years and the line is ten dollars you have free device pretty much so i thought okay didn't get the phone yet i'll get at least that new tablet for my for my son no such thing no offers zero offers okay so i didn't buy the phone yet because when i make big purchase and to buy a new phone that costs fifteen hundred dollars or so it's a big purchase for me I always think about what I should do, <clears throat> and so I we went over to the Macy's to buy a shirt for my son for his school's Christmas party. Same story. All of us remember how before Christmas, and it's like it's now less than three weeks before Christmas. Usually, all stores are full of sales. Uh, just. Please buy it. 50, 60% off, even 70% off, and then after that 70% off, additional sell. So, uh, no, not anymore. 30%, sometimes 25%. So what is that? Before Christmas? I was thinking, what's going on? How come? No deals on the phone, no deals on even clothes. And I thought, something is going on. And then this came to my mind. They must be short on merchandise. And that means they are probably short on merchandise across the board. Not just phones or clothes. It's probably anything. Survival related. Probably even food related. Because, as we know, during first uh, lockdown, they locked down, actually, they closed lots of businesses. Many of them were not functioning at the, on all cylinders. Many of them were 
letting some employees go. So, in my opinion, they probably are short on merchandise. And therefore, they really have no reason to give you these kind of deals and sales. I love watches. Just looking at watches just gives me joy, you know, since I was a kid. So yesterday, as we were walking through Macy's, as always, I go and I look at the watches. Same story. They have probably twice as little watches as they used to have. I couldn't believe my eyes. Just not there. So, uh, once again, the window, the door of opportunity is closing. It's probably already half closed. But it's not completely shut yet. So, in my opinion, you know, pay your bills. Whatever disposable income you have, get more preps, more food, more medicine. Especially medicine, you know, if you're sick, you know, and there is no medicine, that's got to be one of the worst scenarios. Because hungry, you can even be hungry for a day or two. Especially if you have a few extra pounds, you can definitely survive. But if you have even simple medicine, like ibuprofen, Tylenol, if you just have simple headache that drives you nuts, it's awful feeling. So, um, whatever leftover you have from your paycheck, I would spend on the preps, mainly food and water and medicine and appropriate clothing because we are going into the winter. Once again, what if you have no heat in your house? Wool blankets and nice warm clothes is what you need. Uh, as well as some either kerosene heater or body heater. Those body propane heaters, they, they're safe indoors. So um, make a list and take care of that list the faster the better because merchandise is disappearing. And now with the second wave, it will probably get only worse. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Um, keep getting ready. Share this video if you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe and give me one of these. Like this video, please. And um, don't forget to ring the bell right next to the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next upload. Take care. Thanks for watching.